Off Grid, and today we are going to do a review of the A Hope Garden Indoor Hydroponic Planter. Let's check it out. It comes with a user guide, a nice little uh, card that tells you you know, how to set it up. So the unit here on the back has a little light stand that can raise and lower. You can get it up that high if you wanted to, depending on the size of your plants. Or let's say as your plants are growing, you want to have it a little lower to give more direct light on the plants. And you could just pull it up, push it down to the height that you want. Now we have a tray here. And this is where you're going to grow your plants inside these little holes. You can space them how you want. This thing here is like a little plug for your water. Where you're going to add water on the side with the three holes. You'll add water. Um, it comes with a little uh, like net pot that fits these little holes. And also has like a uh, plug for grow growing your plants that just fits right nice inside these little net pots. Now, I want to point out that they recommend, if you're growing larger seeds like lettuce seeds, uh, they recommend that you pre-soak your seeds before you put them in the hole. But if you're growing something smaller like mint or petunia, they say you could just add the seed directly to the hole. But they recommend for 6 to 12 hours, if you have a larger seed that you use, one of their little cups here that they provide for soaking seeds. About six to 12 hours. This little clear cup can fit right down inside the, the hole and you can just add some water to, you know, to the seeds, let them soak. All right, so basically that's um, what the unit comes with as far as the net pots and how they grow inside those net pots. Then they have, of course, a power plug. Standard little plug, just plugs in the back of the unit, regular wall outlet. And then they also provide you with some starter plant food, which is awesome. It provides directions uh, in the instructions how much. This is like little pellet plant food that goes specifically with the small plants that you will be growing in this unit. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fire this unit up and we'll grow some lettuce. So let's see how it goes. And what we're going to do to start is we're going to go ahead and soak plugs inside a cup of water. They recommend soaking your plugs no matter what type of seeds you're planting. As you can see, these little um, sponge plugs uh, are pretty dry when they come in the package so you definitely have to give them time to soak up water and I'm going to be soaking these as well as my lettuce seeds. Well here I have the A Hope Garden Intelligent Planner hydroponic unit all set up and running. I've set it on the vegetable setting which is what they recommend for all your plants as they're starting because that Light setting stimulates green growth. Later on, if you have plants you're wanting to get to flower, then you'll set the uh, lighting over to flowers and fruits once the green growth has been accomplished. And what that'll do is it'll give you more of the light spectrum. Now for lettuce, since all we're wanting to do is stimulate that green growth, the vegetable setting will be perfect. You can see the blue lights in that light deck, which help to stimulate that green growth. Now, these little cups that they provide are great to use as what they call biodomes. Basically what that does is it helps to ensure that the sponge grow media stays moist to uh, stimulate the sprouting of those seeds. Now, if it does dry out, you can always use a little spray bottle to, um, to re-moisten the sponge. Now, I want to point out how this works. You can see how the net pots right there drip down 
into the reserve just kind of sit in that water like that and that helps to wick the water up to that surface where the seed is uh is sitting inside that hole and down here in the water reserve we have a little pump you can see that down at the bottom that that is agitating the water to help add aeration which will help stimulate the root growth well it's been about a week since we added our seeds to the system and as you can see they have started to sprout inside these little biodomes so now we are ready to add our plant food i've mixed up 15 milliliters of plant food a and b and now we're going to add that to the reserve and the one thing you want to do when you do that you'll lift this little lid here and you want to double check whenever you add water make sure that the pump is going inside if it isn't going you may have to repress the uh, the little blue button up here for water to re-engage the pump because once in a while it'll kick off and it doesn't really matter if the pump is running except you know when you're growing your plants except when um, you're adding the plant food if your pump isn't going it won't mix well well here's about a month in my a hope garden intelligent planter the lettuce has grown pretty large Look at these huge leaves, and it seems to be very healthy in this unit. The lighting is excellent. You can see how nice the plants are. They're very well developed. And I'd say probably a couple more weeks, we'll be ready to harvest these lettuce heads. Also, I wanted to point out, if you look inside, you can see the beautiful white roots on the lettuce. That's a sign of healthy growth of a healthy plant. You want those roots to look nice and white. So they're growing very nicely in this little hydroponic unit. And I highly recommend it for anyone who wants a small little garden that they can put anywhere in their house. And if they want to grow some small little plants, this thing will do a very nice job for you. It'll also be great for starting seeds for your garden, even your larger plants, if you want to start them in this unit. This, uh, this A-Hope intelligent planner would be a great little unit to have for your indoor gardens i also want to mention this light deck on here is is really neat in that it has its own little timer so it kicks on and off i think about 10 to 12 hours at a time so that is a very nice feature so this unit pretty much has everything you need to get started growing hydroponic plants anywhere in your home